I'm here today with Chancey B. Smith Jr., who's in Jamaica, Vermont, and he's done a lot of research on meteorites. He's found a couple, and he found one today, and it's pretty unique. And can you tell us a little bit about the meteorite you found today? Uh, <coughs> Let me zoom in on it here. This meteorite appears to be a carbonaceous crondite. It's the oldest known meteorite in the universe. It, uh, it's unu unusual because it has all the building blocks of life within it. It's called a carbonaceous crondite because it is full of carbon. And you can see the carbon within it, the larger spots, like right here, and here, and here, they're all the way through it as carbon. The carbon shines when it's turned around because it's smooth and non-porous. It can be seen in the video as it is turned. The bigger of the reflecting spots around it are ca carbon. The smaller, re smaller reflecting spots appear to be stardust, tiny diamonds embedded in a lot of meteorites. <clears throat> this one, as can be seen, has a shatter crack in it that is common to a lot of meteorites from hitting the earth, especially when they hit other rocks and then bounce off. The shatter mark can be seen right up through here and right through there. And these are spots here, 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 and here where pieces shattered off of it when it hit. The worth of these type of meteorites is priceless due to them being the oldest known in the universe and carrying the building blocks of life and that they are, are one of the rarest found on the earth <clears throat> because they do not carry much iron in them at all. And usually a magnet is used to find meteorites because of the iron content. <clears throat> and because most rocks <clears throat> that are found on earth that people think are carbonaceous crondites have iron in them and some carbonaceous crondites are said to have iron also but they turn out to be volcanic rock which has a lot of carbon in it also And also, if there was space, or life on another planet in space, these other meteorites, above all, that it would be found in, would be bedded inside them. This one is kind of unique because it also has small specks that appear to be flakes of gold and gold dust in it also. Though I've searched for meteorites and studied them, everything I could find for over 15 years now, this is the only one I've ever found that has every mark in that it came from space. And even though I've searched them out, 
It was quite the coincidence that this time I wasn't looking for one. But I was sitting on the edge of a brook that was ravaged by a flood. And the high water from last night, from rain, a rainstorm, uncovered it. And I sat on the rock and happened to turn my head to the left and look down and my eyes spotted it. And as far as it ever being sold, it's questionable. And there's some of the gold spots right there. One right there. There's one right there. And some right in there, embedded deep in them. I'm, I'm thinking that if it was ever sold by me, the main factor would be money. But also, due to the value of them and what can be found in them, if it's sold, it'd be interesting to learn what was found inside it. So science may be also a concern in selling it. The minimum, minimum price, I'm thinking, would probably be exceeding a million dollars. Two million, and I'd probably sell it. Under the conditions that some, whoever, the buyer was either uh, had a degree so he could state for absolute fact that it is a meteorite from space and certify it also. And that I would re request to be done here. If somebody wasn't certified, they would definitely need somebody with them that could certify it on the spot which shouldn't be hard to do, a microscope, a little scrape, but I wouldn't allow it to be broken apart. Maybe a tiny chunk off it, but that would be it. Do you think you'll ever find another one like that in a million years? Well, it's one of those things where you never know. The rarest to find, the oldest in the universe. It's like a chance of a lifetime. And this one, as I said, I had searched for 15 years, and this one was found while I wasn't looking. Well, it's certainly an interesting item, and I'm glad you allowed us to videotape it and put it on YouTube. Thank you. You're welcome.